Hey everyone, by request I got a video to do for somebody. It's on how to update the BIOS on your computer. So therefore, we're going to be doing it with a laptop. So, if you're doing this with your computer with a laptop that's made from an OEM, be sure to have it plugged in to charge it when you're doing this. And before you um, start installing the BIOS update, you want to stop what you're doing and save all your work and back make sure all your files are backed up on any source of external hard drive or any other media so therefore I'm doing this with a Toshiba laptop because I'm going to show you how to update the OEM's BIOS this is for computers that are made by manufacturers you can do this with a desktop as well and you want to go to your br open up your browser and you want to type in if you, do, if you have a Toshiba laptop you should go to support.toshiba.com they should have a support page on the manufacturer's website to download drivers and software for your computer usually just go to this download page go to the download page and you want to put in what type of computer it is either a desktop lap minimal desktop laptop or netbook so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the model my model should be on here should be on the list or you can type it in instead of doing all that scrolling and there you go you just click to the go page this is going to bring you to all the you want to select the operating system you need to go to right here to get to the BIOS and it'll tell you what date the BIOS is with current version and all that other good information it'll be also compatible with the A500 as you see we'll go to this link you want to go to where it says download now We're going to go ahead and we're going to save the file. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... You want to click yes whenever the user can... Before we start the BIOS update. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and I'm going to switch over to the camera okay now you should see this window since you um, downloaded it and we opened up the file for the BIOS update this is what it should look like when we go ahead and we're going to click install and as you see I already got the laptop plugged in it's going to take a while We're going to go to where it says install from windows. So we don't need a disk or anything right there. And it says that we got the current version so I already updated the BIOS on this thing. You just follow the steps and um whenever you install the BIOS don't do anything while it's updating because you will screw up your system just let it install then once after it installs then you should whenever you restart the computer it will give you a different whole startup screen and it'll update the whole it'll be up fully up to date and it'll tell you it'll show a different version number so that you would be good to go 
so I hope this video had helped you out. So, see ya.